Okay, we're at 7.1b and we're going to plot points on a coordinate plane. So for ordered pairs, the x is always the first coordinate and the y is always the second coordinate. And the x is also called an abscissa and the y is also called an ordinate. And they're always separated by a comma when they're in parentheses. All right. So if we've got 6, 4 as our ordered pair, the x is on 6 and the y is on 4. So here's the x line. So we find 6. And then we find 4 on the y line. OK, here's the y line. And there's 4. And we see where the two meet. See? And they meet right here. So that's the point right here. That is 6, 4. See? That point right there. Because that's where x is on the 6 and goes up, and the y is on the 4, and they meet. See that? And this is a positive 6 and a positive 4, so they're plotted in quadrant 1. See? It's positive 6, positive 4 on the number lines. So remember from the last video, the quadrants are numbered 1, 2, 3, 4 in the shape of a C, like for coordinate. In coordinate plane, that's how you can remember it. And this is where the two positives would be. All right? So let's look at this now. Now we've got a negative 3 and a positive 6. So the x is always first. Where is negative 3 on the x? It would be right here, wouldn't it? Okay, so that's negative 3. So now we need to find out where 6 is. Well, that's a positive 6. And positive 6, here's our negative 3, positive 6 on the y would be way up here. So where do these two meet? See where they meet? That's our point right there. That would be negative 3, 6. Because we went to negative 3 on the x and 6 on the y, and they met. And you see where they met? They met in quadrant 2, where the x is negative and the y is positive. See that? The x is negative and the y is positive. That's quadrant 2. All right? Let's look at this one. Now we have a negative 7 and a negative 4. So let's find negative 7 on the x line. So we know it's going to be on this side on the left because it's negatives. Here's our x. So negative 7 would be right here, wouldn't it? All right, where's negative 4 on the y line? Well, here's the y line, and these are the positives. Down here are the negatives. So negative 4 would be way down here. And where do those two points meet? They come together and they meet right here, don't they? This one comes this way. This one comes this way. And they meet right here at that point. That is negative 7, negative 4. See? The x is on the 7 and the y is on the negative 4, or negative 7. Okay? And do you see what quadrant that is? Remember, we count them going around like the shape of a C. So that's quadrant 3 written in Roman numerals. It's a negative and a negative. See that? So that's quadrant 3, the bottom left-hand corner. All right, now let's take a look at this one. We have a 0 and an 8. A 0 is the x. Well, where's 0? It's the origin. Remember, it's right in the middle. So 0 is the, the bullseye of right in the middle of the two number lines. So if x is on 0 and y is on 8, here's the y line, and it's a positive 8, isn't it? So that means it's way up here, isn't it? So if x is on 0 and the y is on the 8, that is our point. This is 0, 8, right here. It's going to actually be on the line. See that? And it's not really in a quadrant, is it? Because of the 0, it's on the origin. The 8 is positive, but in quadrant 1 and quadrant 2, the y is positive. So we don't know which quadrant it's in, is it? Because it's on the line. So we can't say it's in a particular quadrant, all right? Let's take a look at this one. We have an, a positive 8 and a negative 5. So let's find the positive 8 for x. 
All right, so here's 0. Here's the positive numbers for x. So positive 8 would be right here. And negative 5 for y, that's down at the bottom here. So let's find negative 5. And now we got to find where they meet, all right? So this is going to, let's see if I can do this with one hand, this is going to come across to here, and this is going to come down to here, and that's where they're going to meet, right here, and that's the coordinates, 8 comma negative 5. 8 comma negative 5. Right there. And you see what quadrant that's in? It's in quadrant 4, isn't it? It's a positive x and a negative y positive x and a negative y. That's quadrant 4. See that? All right, so now I want to compare these two. Let's take a look at these two. This was 0, 8, and this is 8, 0. So we know 0, 8 is up here. That's where we found it. It's 0 on the x and 8 on the y. Where would 8, 0 be? Well, let's find 8 on the x. That's a positive 8, isn't it? So that would be right here. And where's 0 on the y? It's right here on the line at the origin. So our point, 8, 0, is right here on the x line. See that? Now see how different they are? 0, 8 compared to 8, 0. This one's way up here, and this one's way over here. Because that's on the 0 for the x, and that's on the 8 for the x. See? and the 8 for the y and the 0 for the y. Big difference. So don't get these confused. It's a very, very big difference, okay? All right. So if there's a 0 in the ordered pair, the point is going to be on a line. It's going to be on one of the lines, and it's going to be on the line of the non-zero number. See? This is the non-zero number 8, so it's going to be on the y. This is the non-zero number 8, so it's going to be on the x. See that? And remember, the quadrants are numbered in the shape of a C. So it's actually the shape of a C going 1, 2, 3, 4. It starts here, where a C starts, and then it goes 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? Those are the four quadrants of a coordinate plane. Okay? All right. Our next video is going to be more about the quadrants. We're going to talk about the quadrants some more. And if you want to link to the coordinate planes and the terminology that we just, our last video, that'll be in this description, and a link to the grade 6 math about coordinate planes. Might be a little bit different, but a lot of the same information. Okay? That link will be in here too. Okay, I hope this was helpful, and I hope you now know how to plot points. And we're going to continue on and talk about quadrants. See you there. Bye.